communities and indigenous people have some degree of management responsibility for uh, almost 30 percent of the world's forests. In many cases, the relationships with governments uh, are unclear. The tenure security is limited. Uh, our general view is that there is huge potential for improving livelihoods and increasing protection of the forest and all of the benefits from the forest in terms of biodiversity and water with improved relationships. One of the key requirements of improved relationships at the local and national level is associations of communities and of families able to work in a constructive way with governments, a two-way relationship. That's what the facility is hoping to encourage. So from my point of view, from my organization's point of view, the facility is a, an extremely valuable um, addition to the many, many other programs and agencies that are dealing with rural livelihoods, uh, dealing with uh, forest protection. I, I think what the facility does is it links those two uh, vitally important uh, priorities for the planet in a way that makes sense to local people, to local communities, that very often others fail to do because they don't understand the relationship between the two. They see protection of forests as uh, in conflict with improving livelihoods of rural people. Uh, at very best, they may see the two things as um, some kind of trade-off. Um, from, from our perspective, people in rural communities, uh, they aren't two separate problems that are in conflict. There's a single problem. We believe in working to improve our livelihoods and there is no one else at the same time on the planet who understands better the importance of protecting the forests that provide our drinking water and food and fuel and uh, revenue. So we understand this. What we need are the tools that allow us to do a better job of improving livelihoods and protecting forests. And the, the work of the facility will be a, a tremendous benefit in, in promoting those. Well, I think, I think the role it proposes in assisting the development of associations locally and nationally is, is really important. But I couldn't separate that point from uh, encouraging um, greater awareness also by other citizens in society as to the benefits of family and community forestry. To me, these are two sides of the same problem. We, we have to get the city people to understand better where their drinking water comes from. In many, many cases around the world, it comes from forests for which families and communities are responsible a very, very direct link for a very, very basic need. And yet the city people, in most cases, have no idea where that comes from. It comes from the tap when you open it. That's where my drinking water comes from, is what most people would tell you. Well, it doesn't just come from the tap. It comes from forests. In individual families and communities are caring for those forests. It takes work. It takes money. Uh, it needs to be done well. So that link is, is fundamental to um, developing stronger support policies and, and, and so on at the national level and the, the local level. And uh, again, the facility is going to contribute in a really, really significant way to that. Well, uh, many uh, countries already have community forest associations, indigenous people uh, associations responsible for forests and family forest associations. Many countries also do not have these associations. We want to ensure that countries without these associations have an opportunity, that is to say the local people, the farmers and the communities, have an opportunity to consider forming associations. We will give them every possible encouragement. Associations are crucial to solving problems of improving livelihoods and protecting forests. That is our view. And we have many good examples that demonstrate the uh, 
the way in which that uh, links, uh, the way in which the presence of a, an effective association has such important strategic value in putting in place long-term strategies for improving livelihoods and, and better protecting forests. And so we want, to, uh, we want that message to become more widely distributed. We want people to have an opportunity to hear that message and to decide then how they want to respond. And the facility is going to um, provide really, really important support for that process.